you'll often find the need to match a color from a part of an image so that you can put it somewhere else. So the color picker is going to be your weapon of choice. This character, by the way, is Kayan McIntyre. He's one of the characters in my children's series, Kid Caramel Private Investigator, and he's pretty cool, by the way. So as you see here, here's the color picker in our toolbox. I can click on the tool to invoke it, and then I can click anywhere in the image, and I can watch that color represented in this foreground swatch. So I can click in his hair, darker regions, the face, anywhere, and that color will always wind up here. So you might be asking, what's the real use of this tool? Well, there's several reasons you might want to do this. Let's say you don't know exactly what yellow this is as far as numeric values. I can now click on this foreground swatch and now I can see that it's RGB 213, 202, 12. I can see the hue, saturation, and brightness values, the lab colors, and the CMYK values. I'll go ahead and cancel that. This time I'll click on the red part of the shirt. Notice that the values have changed. This is very handy, especially when you don't know what the exact values are. You can give this information to someone working on your team, and you can say, from now on, whenever we do a book, this character's shirt has this as the top color, and whatever the values are for the yellow, and the values for the green. That way, everyone will always be on the same page. Another reason to use this eyedropper tool is so that you can easily replace a color. Let's say I decided that I don't want these areas to be green. I'll grab the magic wand tool. I'll click in this part of the shirt and I'll hold down the shift key, grab this darker region, and I'll come over here and grab this as well. Now, of course, I have some other regions available, but I'll just leave that for now. Now I have this color selected. I can easily fill it. So I can hit the shortcuts on my keyboard, Alt or Option and Delete and I easily fill that in. Let's say I want to go all out and just fill it with yellow. Grab the eyedropper and these regions are still selected so click on yellow and once again fill that in. Just a really handy way to work. All I have to do now is grab my brush tool, resize it, and do the cleanup work.